that we use on our farm, right? So starting on this end here, we have syringes, um, varying sizes, syringes are some 20s, but we have 5 and 10 as well. And this is for any oral medication, right? And uh, any, any liquid really we have to measure. Uh, we also have um, needles, 20 and 25 gauge needles. And um, these smaller needles don't hurt as much, and these are for any injectable medication or supplements. Right? Uh, we also have thermometers. We don't really use these thermometers. Uh, these are rectal thermometers, and we have them just in case. Uh, another thing that we have uh, is a scale. This is just a hanging scale, and we really use this to weigh our kits to make sure that they're growing properly, gaining the weight that they're supposed to be gaining. Um, over here we have gloves, varying types of gloves, and this, this could be to be anything from uh, bathing the animal with certain chemicals, or cleaning a wound, or even um, seeing about some hooks, right? So we just have, or even um, pregnancy when the mothers give birth to handle any um, mucus or anything like that. Now, going on top of here, we have red cell. Now, red cell, as you can see, we have a lot of bottles because we use red cell a lot to supplement our animals especially any uh, females who we think are a little anemic um, simply because the iron content in this is really high among other things um, so we use this almost every other day and we make sure and supplement our animals with it excellent excellent product we also have um, hemoplex however um, we stopped using this a little while um, simply because we got better results with the uh, red cell but Hemoplex is also a good alternative that we have and we keep it on stock. Also it's flavored, so the animals kind of like that about it, but they already established the taste of the red cell. Um, another thing that we have is Simplex Plus. This is this Simplex is the, and two same product, different bottles, right? This Simplex um, is really a feed supplement. So it has B vitamins as well as amino acids. And that's really what we use this for, for the amino acids. And you could give them a lot of this in one serving with feed. We alternate and give them this sometimes, um, especially our bigger rams, our mothers, our nursing mothers as well, our pregnant females. Um, now, going on to this side here, we have this product, it's Cowers Band Plus. We keep this on stock. Um, we only have had to use it like three times, but we, uh, it's really for scours or diarrhea and animals, right? Um, Especially in goats, what we realize is that if they overeat or if they eat too much of something strange or new, um, they tend to get diarrhea or scours, right? And this will help them just um, restore whatever electrolytes they loss and help to stop these scours basically, right? Um, that's what we, we use it for. We never had any serious like bacterial infection or anything like that that causing actual scours. Um, moving on now, we have or dewormers, right? So we have we keep two dewormers here. The one that we use mostly, I rather say all the time actually is Hunter 10 or Fenbendazole. It has, it has many other names, but everybody in Trinidad would know it as Hunter 10. Now, plenty of people do get good results with Hunter 10 simply because there's a way we use it and we get results, right? So um, we actually increase the dosage um, to more than they have on the label and we get excellent, excellent results. Um, excellent, excellent Dewoma. It's also safe for uh, pregnant females, but we use it for our pregnant females and our nursing females. Excellent. And we also have uh, Ivermectin, Intermectin. This is one of the injectable Dewomas. We use this once on a young female who was really um, anemic. And she wasn't responding well to any other Dewomas, so we use this and she bounced back really well but we end up having to use oral dewormers as well as supplements. So we always have this on stock as well for our larger animals in the future if we need it. Um, another injectable product that we have is um, this. So this is just for show. Um, it's a bottle of CDNT vaccine. Um, it's have many suppliers in Trinidad, but you should always go to your vet and ask about these products. Um, we uh, vaccinate our animals simply because they are exposed to the elements sometimes so we want to be as cautious as possible and this is really for tetanus so if you haven't seen a goat 
that is affected by tetanus, you could probably check that and it's not pretty set, you know? So you can check your vets about getting the animals vaccinated. This bottle is just for sure. Right? Um, another product that we have is sprays, right? So everybody in Trinidad will know the purple spray and the silver spray. Right? So both of them, they basically do the same thing. Any cuts, any wounds, any digs, anything of that nature that makes the animal bleed or get wounded, right? You would use these two sprays. Um, both of them are excellent. Um, any vet would tell you is an excellent product. We, we love to use it. Um, uh, they both leave a film on the animal, but what we notice about this one on our farm is that um, this one actually leaves a very thick layer on the wound of the animal and it stops the flies from actually sitting on the wound directly. Right? So it prevents anything from going inside. It's, I think it's also waterproof, so that's great. We love to use this product. Um, over here we have um, iodine. Iodine could be used for wounds and stuff. We use it for some wounds. But the major purpose of iodine on our farm is to dip the navel string of the kids that born. And we keep dipping it until the string kind of dries this up. One, um, I started to use this to bait animals that came into the farm uh, but uh, I'm not getting the results I wanted with any more so I actually stopped using this and I'm using this one now, so it's Cyprotec right, so I have these small bottles here but. so this, I use this uh, to bait some of my females I, one of them had lice and it completely eliminated the, the um, lice from her so you mix this in your uh, container, whatever, just read the instructions and um, you soak the animals fur with it, like you bait them properly and you leave it on them. Don't wash it off, you leave it on them and that's the best thing I found that works with this particular product and um, how I mix it is usually in a big spray can like this here and I just spray the animal down with it rather than getting a big tub. Also well, shampoo. But this is for rare instances where one of our ram or box are really, really smelly and we need to give them a bead with this.